<clears throat> it's the video you've all been waiting for. It was the night before candle day. Okay, you guys, so I thought we would make a list of the candle scents that I'm hoping to pick up tomorrow so I can kind of stay on track and go in with a plan so that we can get in and get out safely and hopefully with everything that we want. So let's jot down some scents and then I'll see you guys in the morning. Hello, good morning. It is candle day, baby. Let's go look at my candle, candle, my candle inventory, see what I need, what I might want to exchange, and then we're gonna get our butts in the car. Oh wait, no, I have to go to work first. We're gonna go to work first, then get my butt in the car, and then go to bed, bed, bath, and beyond. Where's my mind today? I can't be the only one that calls it bed, bath, and beyond, right? Right? Okay, let's go into my store, as Ryan likes to call it. <laughs> and see what I have in here. I have a big chunk of space because I have been great at knocking down my candles and really going through them. If you saw my candle collection video, you know that I space things out into different seasons. So we have summer, spring, fall, winter, and I took some of those down and put them by my couch, but I kind of have an idea of what I want to exchange. So I'm going to go get those because they're by my couch, but at least I know I have a good amount of space right here. So if I do want to splurge and get a bunch of candles, there's space. So let's shut this and go grab the ones I want to exchange and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. What time is it? Candle time. Name that movie. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I don't really think that the candle day sale price is really that great, but you know what? It's a national holiday in the candle community and it's time to participate in it. I have my mask. I actually have multiple masks, so I'm going to be suited up, good to go. I'll try to vlog in there if I can, but I'm gonna ask first because they have a new policy. I wanna be respectful of the new policy and everything like that, but I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys in. If you're not watching this video when I upload it and you're like, holy crap, how did I miss candle day? Don't worry because I have some great news for you for 2020. I know we're not used to that. The great news thing is just something that we all can't get on board with, but I'm here to choo-choo your train because it's going to be three days this year. It's going to be the 4th, the 5th, and the 6th, so if you don't find anything, actually, you won't find anything online. I'm pretty sure that it's all sold out already. Just go into your local store, see what you can find. I'm pretty sure that my store is going to have old scents from last year, and sometimes they have like the year before that, which is really nice, but I don't know. We'll see. I need to get my keys into my ignition and start heading over there because it is getting late and I'm sure a ton of people already got there before me. So let's go see what we can get. I hate myself. I forgot to get my two candles that I'm supposed to exchange. All right, back in the car. I'm exchanging two Dutch apple waffles. I just, I don't know. I wasn't loving it so much that I don't want to exchange it. So this is warm buttermilk waffles, baked apple slices, and ground nutmeg. It does smell good, but it's not like groundbreaking where I feel like I need to hoard it. And I definitely have some other scents that I'm looking forward to so you exchange and they're great on their exchange policy if you're not familiar also if you're not familiar with just the candle community in general yes there's a candle community here on YouTube vloggers basically just give you reviews of candles their hauls and there's so much to candles that I have learned while being a part of this community I wouldn't say I am a huge partaker in it because there are like a lot more intense candle vloggers than me I love candles. I have a passion for them, but I don't need to make my whole channel reviewing candles. I leave that for the pro. I'm just, you know, your typical girl trying to haul some candles without my camera falling while I'm driving. But yeah, I just want to let you know, like they really deserve their own Bravo show. I'd watch. I couldn't believe that when I found these candle people that they love candles as much as me, if not way more than I do. But yeah, Bath & Body Works has a huge community of people who just absolutely love home fragrance. And I mean, fragrance really is special because it can remind you of a nostalgic time in your life. I think that's why I love home fragrance so much because of that nostalgic tie that it brings me a lot of the time. And also like, who doesn't want their house to smell good? You know, you make some eggs, they smell nasty, just light up a waffle candle and it smells great. Even though I'm not a candle channel, I do have a lot of candle videos and I still try to put up candle videos through Okay, we made it. Here's a little Christmas action for you guys. The tree is up. Look how cute. So fun. I'll never get over the palm trees. I really won't. Next to a Christmas tree, it just blows my mind. I freaking love outdoor malls. They're so cool. 
I did not grow up with these. Oh my gosh, the line. Oh no. Well, let's do some crab raisins while we wait. Got my crate. Got a bag. <laughs> let's go shopping. Summer candles, bye. Ooh, this one's new. Bear spritzer, yum. Ooh, it smells really good. It smells like champagne toast. This one smells like an over cologne man, so no thank you. All right, we hit the winter scents and we have peppermint sugar cookie here. We got all the new ones at the bottom. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm feeling like I can get some. Ooh, I'm gonna smell this. <laughs> This one totally smells like the blueberry pie candle. So yummy, but I actually have so many of those. I don't think I need another one, but really good. Okay, this really does smell like under the Christmas tree. Really good combination of pine and balsam if you're looking for a tree scent this year. Oh my gosh, we have peppermint marshmallow in a single wick. Thank goodness. Okay, I gotta get one of these because they gypped us this year with the three wick. I spy a new candle scent, but short girl probs, I can't reach it to smell it. Whoa, that really smells like a cookies and cream, like Hershey's bar. Ooh, ooh, do I need this? I might need this. I'm, I don't love chocolate scents, but I like this. All right, it's officially nighttime, and I got the goods, so let's go home, and I'll share my haul with you guys. Wow, the tree looks so pretty at nighttime. Christmas came early, I got my lights going, a little cozy ambiance while I clean. It's so important to clean your candles because everyone's little grimy hands have been all over your candles, so make sure you wipe them all down before you do anything else. Oh, of course, my camera battery is gonna die. Perfect timing. I'm not gonna try to rush this. If the camera dies, the camera dies. Ooh, I pick up. If the camera dies, the camera dies, I'll charge the battery and continue with the haul. But I want to get this up for you guys because I know that like everyone loves to watch what other people get. I love to watch what other people get. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. I personally can't wait to watch some of my favorite candle channels and see what they picked up. I'm so sorry guys. I don't know. Hold my breath. <clears throat> nope. It's okay real life people. Here's my candle day haul for 2020. Honestly, I thought there would be a lot more than what there was, but I'm not going to complain because my wait time was not that ba bad. My This is going to be annoying. I'm sorry. Wait time wasn't that bad. There were a lot of winter candles, which I love winter fall fall candles. I thought there were going to be a lot more fall candles, but there weren't, which is fine. The first candle that I have here is the Peppermint Sugar Cookie, and the fragrance notes are crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, soft sugar cookies, and that's what it really, truly smells like. You're making sugar cookies, you decided to add some peppermint, you're making some frosting while your cookies are baking. It just smells really good. I have seen reviews saying that it is fairly light, but since they did not have the peppermint marshmallow candle this year, this is the closest I could get to it and it really does smell similar I would say the difference is it's more of that frosting sweetness note lacking that marshmallow there is a difference between frosting and marshmallow there just is it's hard to explain if you smelt the two you would know I definitely thought that if I were going to pick up another marshmallow ish candle I was gonna go with this one I did see the gingerbread marshmallow I did smell it I know a lot of people wrote me and said oh my gosh this is a gingerbread marshmallow candle because if you've been following me for a while you know that like my absolute favorite is the gooey marshmallow from 2018 that has not been back since then oh well but any marshmallow candle i love like that is my scent i love gourmand scents the peppermint sugar cookie i had to get and then of course i had to pick up if we're on the peppermint kick here i had to pick up the classic crushed candy cane in this absolutely adorable packaging i mean i'm not a big sucker for packaging if it if it smells good and it's not in cute packaging i'm fine I can make do. I can take the candle, freeze it, pop it out, put it into the packaging that I like. I'm good to go. Some people literally shop just for packaging. I can't spend money like that. I just, it is, it's scent for me. Well, the fragrance notes are crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, frosted mint leaf. We just love to hear the fragrance notes, right? Like there's something so satisfying about hearing someone describe the way something smells or the way something tastes. It's just, it just is what it is. Oh, it's so good. It's not the essential oil peppermint. That's straight up peppermint. This has a sweetness to it. It has that candy cane scent, which is obviously sugar. So you get a sugary note to this. Whereas like if you're diffusing the peppermint oil, it's just like 
that stark peppermint. Oh, I love this one. And I just think the packaging, it is really cute. It's a little bit more minimalistic, which I like. I sometimes don't love the like overly cheesy labels. I know some of you Bath & Body Works people live for that. But for me, like I kind of want this to go with more of my decor and I kind of like more plainer things, but I don't like the white barn candles. I only picked up one for this haul and white barn candles, the actual throw of those candles varies from the labeled ones. And if you know, you know. And it's just, it's a true thing. Batch variations are true and same with packaging variations. I'm gonna leave that out there. The next one I have here is from the same exact line. It is the spiced gingerbread candle in the adorable packaging that we had in the crushed candy cane. I love this one. This one comes back every single year so far. I say that because peppermint marshmallow came back every single year and then it's not here this year. So I had to pick this one up because I haven't had it in a really long time. I've seen a lot of reviews on this one saying that this is just like one of the best gingerbread scents out there and I haven't had a gingerbread scent in a while so I decided to pick it up and it smells like perfect gingerbread cookies baking. It's so yummy and the fragrance notes are vanilla icing, cinnamon sugar, and fresh ground nutmeg. Now speaking of the white barn packaging, I picked up Winter. Uh, believe it or not, I've actually never bought this candle for my scent. My scent. Myself, I'm really thinking about scents today. I've never bought it for myself. I haven't had it in my collection. I always buy it for other people because when I smell it, I'm like, oh, this is like a pretty good standard wintry scent. That's not like too overwhelming. It's not gourmand. It's like a good in-between. This is the only packaging that they had or I would have gotten the other one because I thought that was really cute. The fragrance notes are white woods, pine needles, sparkling clementine, and spiced clove. Now that I think about it, they didn't have winter white woods. That's the thing about the stores. It's like you have to go to a few stores because each store is gonna have different inventory. Dang it, I really wanted to get that. That was on my list. Oh well. Everybody loves this one. It's a it's a go-to. And I do like this more in the January, February months. I know I have certain candles for cer certain months and certain seasons. Just how I roll. It's how I do things around here. Some people do not do that. They burn what they want when they want, and that's great, but I like seasonal things. The next one, I don't know what season I would burn this one is, but I had to get it. It's the cookies and cream because it smelled like one of my favorite candy bars of all time. It's the Hershey's cookies and cream bar. It's it's pretty on point with that. Pretty remarkable how they can just grab a certain scent and throw it into a glass jar. Fragrance notes are chocolate cookie crumbles, vanilla bean ice cream, and a chocolate drizzle. So my friend Jackie McManus, she has a YouTube channel. She's like the candle queen, love her. She loves chocolate scents. So I'm curious to see if she picked this one up. She loves the hot fudge sundae, which I have. I'm not a huge chocolate person though. I I just don't gravitate towards chocolate candles. I don't know why there's something about it that I just am not like, ooh, I need to smell some chocolate in my life. This one changed my mind. I felt like I needed to smell some chocolate in my life. I think what I like about this one is the vanilla is really prominent. So it just works with the chocolate. The chocolate isn't overbearing. And then another chocolate, for someone who doesn't like chocolate candles, I picked up another chocolate candle and it's the chocolate graham cracker or chocolate grams in this cute gold wrap around packaging and i did really like the christmas tree scent i would have picked that up but i was trying to go under 100 bucks and i did exchange those two which was very helpful the fragrance notes for this is milk chocolate graham cracker caramel swirl really and vanilla extract caramel swirl I'm not smelling any of that but i thought this was a cool candle because you really pick up on that graham cracker note and i never smell that in candles you know like the s'mores candles you don't get that fragrance notes because it's so wiped away by the chocolate so i was expecting that the chocolate to overpower this but such a nice balance i'm really curious to see how this burns and if you're new to the, like the candle community thing Burning a candle versus smelling it on cold, it totally can change the way something smells. I was kind of bummed though about the fall fragrances because Ryan really wanted another cinnamon Irish cream. Like that is his favorite candle. He didn't understand my candle scent obsession until he smelt the cinnamon Irish cream. He's like, I get it now. I get it, I don't wanna live without this scent. And then BBW takes away those scents and then you're left literally living without that scent. So I was gonna, pick a few up for him and they just didn't have them. So I had to break the news to him over text message. He hasn't responded yet. I'll let you know how he handles it. But this, this is the cinnamon graham cracker. Oh no, this is a chocolate graham cracker 
And then I got the cinnamon ginger snap from that exact same line. This one surprises me a little bit. One minute you're like, this is just a cinnamon candle. And then the next you start getting that like crunchy, sweet ginger snap that you just know the moment you bite into it, it's gonna taste like Christmas. Well, that's what I'm getting from this candle. The fragrance notes are gingerbread spice, homemade marshmallow, ooh, yes, marshmallow girl, loves a little marshmallow fragrance note, and a vanilla bean. It smells light though on cold, so I wonder how it's going to burn in my studio apartment. Like if it's not throwing in my studio apartment, okay, it, it's not a good candle. It, it needs to at least fill this small little space. I'll let you guys know, maybe in a future vlog. And then the last one I picked up from that line, the Mary Madeline cookie. And this one to me smells like the frosted sugar cookie from last year. Please, anyone, let me know if you agree with that. I think the orange in this is a lot stronger than the frosted cookie, but the almonds, like the vanilla almond I'm really getting from the frosted sugar cookie. So the fragrance notes are baked madeleine cookie. If you've never had those, those are like the seashell cookies that like your grandma used to make. My grandma used to make them at least. And then spiced almond and sweet orange. Oh, and toasted coconut. Hmm. Oh, oh, that kind of changes things now. Now I have it in my mind and I'm starting to smell new things. It's good. I actually really like this one. So. This will be an interesting one to burn. This one does kind of make me feel like Christmas. I don't know why. I don't have Madeline cookies at Christmas time, but I like this. And then I saved the last three wick. I have one other after this, but this one is the ultimate Christmas, I feel like, for so many people. And I do love this. It's not my favorite Christmas scent, but I definitely do love it. And it's Tis the Season. I haven't had this candle in a really long time, but this one is a true classic. If you are new to Bath and Body Works and you don't know what to get for a Christmas scent, I would get this one. I would get maybe a under the Christmas tree. A vanilla balsam is really nice. If you're looking for something to really make you feel those Christmas cozy feelings, I would go for more of those scents. And the fragrance notes to this is rich apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. So the apple, it's still Christmas to me. I know that a lot of people associate apple with fall time. I would say that this could, you could start burning this in September and all the way until January. But the cedar wood in here definitely makes it more of a Christmas scent. And then the, it does have a pretty strong cinnamon note to it. So the nostalgic tie for this candle for me, it smells kind of like Christmas at my grandma's house because this is one of the first candles that I burned there from Bath and Body Works. So I just think I remember like that year going to get the Christmas candle burning it in the basement and watching the Christmas movies and so I just had that like scent association so I picked it up because I also thought the packaging the poinsettias were so beautiful and very Christmassy so that's it for my three with candles and then I did pick up one single wick because I had an, a reward and I'll have another reward after this haul but it's just wasn't available yet and it's the champagne toast candle it's a classic so good you can't I feel like you can't really go wrong with the champagne toast. They don't have the fragrance notes at the bottom of the. What a shame. I think it has like Prosecco in it, some juicy berries, and like one other note. It's so good. It's my favorite candle to burn on New Year's Eve. Like I have to. That's my New Year's Eve candle. It's the champagne toast. So I picked that one up and I was going to pick up the peppermint marshmallow, but I'm going to get that when I get my next reward. So that's it for 2020 candle haul. I cannot believe, like cannot believe that candle day is already here. Like I feel like we just completed that a few months ago and now we're back. But doesn't that how every year feels? I also really want to say thank you to all the Bath and Body Works workers. If any of you are watching this, please let us know in the comment section below that you work for Bath and Body Works. You are champions. I know that's really long hours, a lot of people to deal with, and you're dealing with a virus in such weird times. So thank you so much for putting yourself out there and letting us have one day to feel joy in a world of so much chaos. Also, I would love if you could leave any YouTube channels that you know participate in Candle Day so I can watch their videos. I just like love watching other people and what they get. And if you have a channel, let me know too. Like I would love to support any other small YouTubers and you know, comment and like, and just help you guys out in any way. You know, we're a community here and I think it's always good to give back to each other. And I personally don't find it to be self-promoting. Like if you wanna let me know that you have have a channel and you uploaded a vlog or a haul, I'm there to help and support you. So if I had the time, obviously can't watch everyone, but I'll try if I can. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really 
I'm so happy it's Christmas time. I'm trying my best to have a positive outlook on this year's Christmas because it's definitely gonna be different for my family and for so many, but my different is just nothing compared to what people are actually facing this year due to the circumstances. And if you're new to this channel in the month of December, it is a very Kaylee Christmas series and I vlog or upload every other day and then some bonus videos in between. That's all pretty much Christmas content related. So if you feel like you need a little bit of extra cheer in your life, I hope you guys can come to my channel and look at a video and it makes you smile and you just can escape for a few minutes. Okay, well, I think that's it. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.